A few months ago I presented you with a new feature named the Canvas Builder. Back then it was in the beginning stages, it was cool but not usable. Today I'm going to present you the new advanced Zoho Canvas Builder. I think it's awesome. In the past few weeks we use it in a live environment and I will also share with you a live environment today and you can see how it really works. I think it's awesome, it's helping us being laser focused on what we need to do. We don't spend too much time to dig information from the page. It all makes sense. Before we begin the session, I'd like to welcome you to our Wednesday Q&A sessions. In those sessions, you can join free of charge, ask questions, get answers online. So those are not recorded. All those are live sessions. Ask me anything. I will be more than happy to give you value. The entire reason that I'm doing those is because I want to give you value and help your business. Feel free to join. The, the, in the description below you have a link to join the sessions. So as you can see here, we have the page. The page that we created, and I will show you also the builder in a few minutes, the page that we created is really divided to uh, small sections. Each section, it makes sense for us as a business. Uh, on the top, I removed everything and I just kept the clone because sometimes we need to clone records. Send with Zo sign in case that uh, some kind of an automation is failing and we need to use manual documents to be sent. Not happening too often, but in case this is a, a fail safe and we have it here and we can edit the record. That's it. I don't need anything else. I don't want anything else. I want people to be concentrated only on what they need to do. Here you can see I have here a picture saying, why, why? And this is when people are doing shortcuts. Sometimes salespeople they are all about the sale, they want the kill, but they forgot on the way that they are serving customers. And the reason for us as a business is to service people. And if they are not really doing good with the clients, they will meet me. And this is really the reminder here, stick to the plan, no shortcuts, or else my baseball will be in your head. Next we have here the information that is important for me, such as the deal name, the deal owner, account name, and contact name. And uh, by the way, we have here a, a client script that I will have a different video about it. And the client script is very cool. Basically, there are some fields that need to be created automatically. For example, the deal name, all that can be done automatically. It's beautiful and there will be a video about it, I promise. In the next section, we have here all the blueprint or the stages. And that will be this area. And of course, as you click here on the buttons, different functionality will take place. I cannot share with you specifically what happening because this is my live environment but i can promise you cool things happening when you click the start here on the left side we have the sales follow-ups and that gives me as a salesperson an understanding when this deal was created when is the next follow-up that should take place and also when was the last time that someone worked on it and all those of course are automated fields that are updating us all the time and here we have also the follow-up comment. Two things that are happening and driving me totally nuts. It's first of all, when the follow-up is past due and the salesperson do not know about it. And this is when I'm losing my mind. And the other one is when you have a follow-up comment that is empty. Therefore, we created here uh, some functionality. Whenever the follow-up comment is empty, it will be read. And whenever the follow-up date is or empty or the date is past due, so it's in the past, the field will be read. And in a second, the salesperson knows that the baseball bat is coming to his head and he needs to fill those fields and take action. On the right side, I have all the stuff that is important for me uh, to proceed with the deal. For example, if the agreement was sent, and that's of course automatically based on a ZO sign that is being sent, uh, signed. If the tag was assigned, for example, when we work on accounts, we need to be tagged as a ZO partner for the account. 
Otherwise, we cannot talk to Zoho about the client's account. Zoho will not share information with us. So we need to know that this account is ready for work and therefore we're not wasting time on working on an account that we cannot service. If the invoice was paid and uh, if all the meetings, sometimes we need to schedule six, seven meetings with clients and in one shot, we need to understand that all of those were done before we proceed with closing the deal. On the right side, we have all the information related to the opportunity itself. For example, a big problem, the books account. We have multiple Zoho books accounts. In this case, this is the Canadian one, but we're serving clients for different parts of the world with different operating companies, totally different companies under one roof. So we need to know which books account all the interaction going to, to take place. Yes, you can have multiple books accounts to one CRM. And also we need to know the price, we need to know the currency. On the right side, I need to know what is the keyword that drove the traffic, if what is the campaign source, so it can, it can do the return of investment to allocate to it, what is the lead source, and so on. So everything is here. And on the bottom, very, very simple, we have the timeline, which I use it all the time to know what's going on on this uh, section. We have here the note section. We have here the attachments. So we have here basically all the things that I need as a salesperson to know what's going on in this record. If you compare it to the old way that you have a huge page with tons of different fields, this is great because it's not overwhelming. It's to the point and I can also have pictures like that or messages that people will know not to make mistakes and stick to the plan. If we're going to the Canvas Builder, uh, let's click on cancel one second. A big thing that uh, happened, if you remember when you created a new record and let's click here, go to the opportunity. When you created a new Canvas Builder back then, you had only the blank template, nothing else. But now Zoho added a few more templates. So you can basically click on one of those templates and now you can start from somewhere. Very, very cool. For example, in this case, maybe I don't like to have the service one, so I will right click and delete, but I like to have maybe the create a time. So I will just take it, drag and drop, and put it here. One second. And also, by the way, you see I just screwed up something. The control Z is now working because back then the control Z was not working. So this is a big feature. Uh, you can, of course, remove stuff. Let's say that I want uh, emails, but I don't want Zoho projects. You can click on the X and you just remove what you don't need. You can click on the plus button and add the ones that you do want. So this is fantastic. It's very, very good. I know I didn't say fantastic all the video. Here you go, fantastic, fantastic. Now it's raising the, uh, the statistics of my fantastic for this video. Uh, one more thing that I really like is that you can right click and you can right click on the conditional styling. For example, you can uh, create your own canvas rules and if you click on it, it will take your ear and those canvas rules uh, will just change the styling, the color or the font or whatever you want on the specific area based on some rules. For example, if the follow up comment is empty, then something will happen. And the way that you can see it, Let's go back to my original one. So if you remember, I had uh, two sections. One section was the follow-up date. The other one is follow-up comments. If those are empty or past due, the color will be changed to red. So if you see here, when I click on the follow-up date, there is another section here that is the follow-up, uh, empty follow-up. This is the rule that I created for the follow-up date. And there is one also for the follow-up comments. You can see here the no follow-up comments. If you will go to other fields, they do not have it because there are no conditional styling for them. So only the follow-up date and the follow-up comments have those fields, okay? 
Um, that's it really. I think it's awesome. I think it's really, really good. We're using it for a few weeks. We have great success with it. We are, we are very happy with it. And uh, the feedback is that people are spending less time to dig information and they can do it from one place. Very, very good. I recommend you to try and use it. If you need help accessing it and we are your Zoho partner, drop us an email. We'll help you free of charge, of course. No problem at all. One more thing. We're opening an office in the US. The office will be mainly doing execution, Zoho development work, scripting work. If you need any type of uh, Zoho work, which we didn't provide before, if you need any kind of Zoho work, feel free to contact us. We'll be happy to give you a quote and uh, try to help you with it okay guys have a beautiful day thank you for joining me to this session if you like the session thumbs up is always appreciated comments in the comments below thank you very much see you in the next video mm.